Hi, and welcome to Mr. Edwards GCSE PE revision sessions. These videos give you the option to pause, freeze, and rewind the lessons at your own pace. Levers are seen in everyday life as well as sport and exercise. A lever system is a rigid bar that moves around a fixed fulcrum with two forces applied to it. Levers can change the size and direction of the effort used to make a task more manageable. The key terms you need to know for levers within movement analysis. A lever, a rigid bar or object that moves around a fixed fulcrum with two forces applied to it. A fixed pivot point, for example, a joint in the body. Effort, the source of the energy, for example, a joint in the body. And the load, the weight slash resistance to be moved, for example, a body part plus anything held or resistance met. The position of the fulcrum, load and effort will determine which class the lever it is. In the human body, the musculoskeletal system creates levers around every joint. These allow us to move. Perhaps, as a fulcrum, the effort comes from the contracting muscles and the load is the body part being moved, plus any additional object held or resistance met. All classes of levers, but third class levers are the most common. There are three lever types, first, second and third class levers. Class of lever. First class lever. There is an example of the fulcrum being in the middle, and then the effort and the load are equal at each end. A well-known example of this would be a seesaw. You can see this example in the body. When you look down, the fulcrum comes the top base of the sorry, the top of the spine. The effort is coming downwards, and then the load is on the front. This would force your head forward. Second class lever. This is when the fulcrum is at the end, the load is in the middle, and the effort is applied upwards. A well-known example would be a wheelbarrow. As you can see here, this is when we jump. So the fulcrum would be the uh, the base of your toes, the load is coming down, and the effort in the result would push you upwards. Third class lever, this is when the load and the fulcrum are at complete opposite ends, and the effort level is in the middle. A well-known remember is a fishing rod. An example in your body would be a bicep curl. The fulcrum would be the elbow, the load would be the weight, and the effort would be the bicep contracting, moving the weight upwards. There are two main benefits of the lever system. Large loads can be moved with a relatively small amount of effort. The distance a load can be moved, or the speed with which it can be moved, can be increased without an increase in effort. For the benefit of a particular lever, you need to look at the length of the two arms. The distance from the load to the fulcrum is known as the load arm, while the distance from the effort to the fulcrum is known as the effort arm, as you can see here. The effort arm is longer than the load arm. It is said to have a mechanical advantage. Levers with mechanical advantage can move large small amounts of effort. They have a high load force to an effort ratio. Second class levers always have mechanical advantage. If we consider a long jump, we see how the second class lever, where the foot contracts the ground, has a high mechanical advantage because the effort arm is longer than the load arm. The result of this for the long jumper is that the force produced by the muscles is relatively small is able to drive the full weight of the athlete off the ground. Disadvantages. When a lever load arm is longer than its effort arm, it is said to be a mechanical disadvantage. It has a low load force to effort ratio, and third class levers always have mechanical disadvantage. Despite operating at a mechanical disadvantage, third class levers are able to increase the distance covered and therefore the speed at the end of the lever arm. They can produce a large range of movement with relatively low effort. Joint is a third class lever. It cannot produce the same load force to effort as a second class lever. However, this doesn't mean that it is not as good at what it does. Third class levers can take small movements near the fulcrum and make a large movement where the load is. This provides a relatively large range of movement which results in a relatively high speed being produced. Mechanical advantage and disadvantages. When a first class lever, the position of the fulcrum is key. If the fulcrum is closer to the load, then the relatively low effort will result in a larger, more powerful movement at the load end. There will be a mechanical advantage, as you can see here. If the fulcrum is closer to the effort, then the lever will operate at a mechanical disadvantage, but will produce a larger range of movement at the end as a result. If the fulcrum is closer to the effort, then the lever will operate at a mechanical disadvantage, but will produce a larger range of movement at the end of the lever and a greater speed as a result. With a third class lever in the hip, the effort would be moving the, arm, the leg upwards and the load would be on the knee joint. This is the third class lever, an example would be sprinting. If you look here, we have a second class lever and 
this is the long jump scenario I was talking about earlier. As the long jumper runs towards the takeoff board, they're pushing up, so the fulcrum would be just below their toes. The load, their power is coming downwards, and the effort as a result is pushing the athlete upwards into the long jumper. Sporting examples. A first class lever, a great example would be a kayak. The fulcrum is in the middle, and the effort and load as the kayaker paddles will swap from side to side, pushing him forward. A second class lever would be the long jump. As the fulcrum is below the toes, the load is coming down, and the effort is pushing him upwards. And a third class lever, a baseball swing, would be a great example. The fulcrum is at the bottom of the baseball bat, the effort is from the arms through the base of the baseball bat, and the resistance or the load is from the edge of the baseball bat. Thank you for listening to Mr. Edwards' GCSE PE revision videos. If you have any questions, feel free to email me on damianedwards at kingselbarsha.com. Cheers. Bye.